Hello and welcome to Casual Magic with me, Nihil. So today we're going to be taking a look at some cards that all have a similar um, ability. These are a particular type of counter spells that have the added twist of bouncing some part of it back to the caster. So we're going to do a quick rundown of these. These span from all sorts of different sets and expansions. So hopefully we'll see something that you guys are interested in. So we're going to start off with Psychic Rebuttal, Swerve, Redirect, Misdirection, Shunt, Reroute, and then Deflection, and then two cards that I'm going to mention that I just, um, I currently don't have in my collection, which is Reverberation from Legends, and then Divine Deflection from Restored. So those are two cards I just don't have, but they're worth mentioning anyways. So we're going to start off with the only card that is currently in Standard, which is Psychic Rebuttal. Psychic Rebuttal came out with Origins. It's a card that's going to range from 9 to 15 cents, so it's very affordable. So what it is, you get a counter, but if you have a Spell Mastery, so that's the new mechanic that's currently available. So Spell Mastery is if you have um, either two instances or two sorceries, or an instance and a sorcery, you get the added bonus. So for this one, it would be um, not only countering a spell, but making a copy of it and then um, bouncing it back on a target of your choosing. So it's a pretty interesting card. I'm not sure how I feel about Spell Mastery. Um, for casting, it's not, not too pricey. It's something neat and you might find it useful. So we're going to move on to Swerve. So this one was only printed in Shards. Um, so for a blue and a red, you change the target of target spell with a single target. Um, this card is about 25 to 35 cents. It's pretty neat for what it is. The art's really nice on it. Um, probably be really cool in a foil. I haven't seen the foil of this one. And it's definitely something to consider. Um, these cards have like a really good flavor for a red and blue deck or maybe even a, like a bounce back commander set. That would actually be kind of an interesting commander or Highlander um, deck to play with. So we have that option. And then moving along to um, Redirect. So Redirect was printed in uh, the course of 2011, 12, and 13. So it's available in those three sets. It's a pretty interesting card. So for two blue, you get to choose a new target for target spell. Um, for It's pretty cheap for what it is. It's readily available. So you can get this anywhere from 25 to uh, 35 cents, depending on the quality of it. Um, I like the art. The, the art on this card is actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's a neat card. So we're going to move right into one of the pricier cards that we're going to mention today, and that's um, Misdirection. So this was reprinted in Conspiracies, and, but it's, uh, let's see, its original was Mercadian, I believe. Yeah, Mercadian was the original printing of this card. So the price of this ranges um, anywhere from $1.90 to $4.50. The $1.90 for the um, conspiracy copy. And then, of course, the original copy is going to cost you a little bit more. So this card, when you first look at it, it's pretty um, pricey for a blue spell. So three, uh, three colorless and then two blue. But instead of having to pay that cost, if you exile a blue card from your hand, you don't have to pay that at all, and you get to change the target of a uh, target spell, uh, target spell with a single target. So that's what makes this card um, really usable. Is you don't have to necessarily use up your mana to be able to cast this. You just need to have a blue card in hand that you can exile. Very cool. So we're gonna move on to Shunt. So this is a red spell. So this was printed originally in Dark Steel and then Tenth Edition. I have the Tenth Edition right here. So for two red and then one colorless, you can change the target of a target spell of a single target. Um, so it's like the blue redirect. Um, instead, the, instead of the two blue, um, you have to pay the extra cost of a, sing of a colorless and then the two red mana. Uh, it's not too bad. This card is um, pretty affordable. It's around 21 to 30 cents currently, and it's a neat card. Oh, the art's not too bad on it. So, moving right into um, Reroute. So this is printed in the original um, Ravikin, uh, Ravnica set. 
So this is again a red card. So for one color, listen one red. You change the target of target um, activated ability with a single target. So and then you get to draw a card. So this isn't a spell or a sorcery. This is the actual activated ability. So that's something to keep in mind for this card. And then you get to draw a card. Um, not too bad. So this card's really affordable. Ten to twenty cents. Super cheap. Um, but it is limited as what it is counteracting and bouncing back. And then finally, one of the earliest cards um, that I can think of that had this mechanic is Deflection. So Deflection is um, pretty pricey for us. So for three colorless and one blue, you get to uh, change the, the target of the spell. I like how they have it to the, the legal, a new legal target of your choice. Um, this card back in the day was pretty expensive. I think it peaked around $12, not even the $20. I don't think it ever went $20. Um, currently it's very affordable. So it ranges anywhere from 17 to 30 cents, depending on the, um, print. I think 30 cents is for the original Ice Age. So it was printed in Ice Age, um, edition 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th. So there are a lot of, um, a lot of cards available, um, if you're interested in it. But... There, as I said, there's cards that I just mentioned earlier that have a lower mana cost that are more uh, practical to use. So it is showing its age quite a bit, but it's still a really cool card, especially if you think about how much tournament play it had back in the day. And then finally, um, two cards that I don't have. So Reverberations from Legends is the oldest card that I can think of where you bounce a spell back. Um, it's pretty neat. It is a rare Legends card, so you're play paying quite a bit more for it. So it runs from $3.75 to $7, depending on the quality. So that's a pretty cool card for what it is. And then the only white sp uh, spell I could find that had like anything redirecting back, as far as damage goes, was um, Divine Deflection. So usually when you think of... Um, why it's more of like a protection, it nullifies or you gain life instead of lose life. But this one, it um, prevents the damage and it deals it back to the caster. So that's pretty interesting. Um, it was in Restored, so, and it's a pretty cheap card. So it's from 19 to 25 cents. And it's pretty neat for what it is. So other than that, um, I know there are other cards that have a similar flavor to it that I didn't mention. Um, you're more than welcome to post more below. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of cards to go through, and they're all pretty neat. So thank you very much, and if you like this video, please like and consider subscribing. And um, the next video, we'll be talking about random cards from my set that either have an um, interesting mechanic, uh, a neat flavor to them, or the art. It's like something kind of interesting to uh, talk about. So that'll be five different cards, so I'll be doing that as like a little um, continuous set of videos. So I hope you guys liked it, and we'll definitely see you guys next time. Thank you.